Hello and welcome back. We have returned. What's going to happen? somewhere oh yeah that's right cool it is it almost time yeah the branch camp is very old armor train it should be here soon you can own Valimar as well as multiple panzer soldats even once it's here we still got a load not just the machines, but the supplies and equipment, too. We're supposed to be leaving by nine? We're gonna make it. Oh, yeah, it's here! <clears throat> hey, look at that. Ain't that cool? So pretty. It's silver. <clears throat> Ooh, guess who that is? Hmm? Oh. Hmm. So you came to? What the? Oh, for real? Hmm. Yo. Students and instructors of Thor's, it's a pleasure to meet you all. I am Major Claire Revelt of the Railway Military Police. I'm here to hand off the armored train Derflinger to the branch campus. One of the three big beauties in this game as far as I'm concerned. You got her, you got Instructor Sarah, and you got Sharon. It's Pablo freaking out over that train. Don't blame him, guy's the train dude. Okay, we're all set over here now. Can you can you help with loading up the supplies? <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, understood. No, oh, Captain. I mean, Major Claire. It's good to see you again. He. Indeed, I believe we haven't seen each other since the end of last year. I wanted to congratulate on graduating and on your new job here at the branch campus. But you might not want to hear that from me. No, that's not the case at all. Glad to hear it. Thanks. I never could have dreamed you'd be the one handing the train off to us, though. William and Lecter beat me here, though. Checks aside, you have the full support of the RMP, including securing the site for your field exercises. I'll be joining you on your trip to the site, so you have to put up with me a bit longer. Put up what she says. Man, what are you talking about? Yuna, Instructor Randolph. It's good to see you again, Yuna. Did you know each other? Hold on. Ah, uh, sorry, I was thirsty. Yeah, I really enjoyed your lessons, and you really helped me out that one time, too. That one time? Uh, nothing. Don't pry into a girl's past like that. There, there, Yuna. You seem to be doing well. That uniform really suits you. Uh, thanks, I still feel a bit weird wearing it. 
Well, someone's running hot and cold today. And first, Lieutenant Orlando, it's good to see you again, too. Can't thank you enough for your help here at the branch campus. Well, I was kind of forced into it. But uh, don't worry, I'm going to do all the work I'm given. As long as you keep your hands clean, anyway. Yes, well, I shall keep that in mind. It seems there's more going on there than I thought. So, this is where you were, Major Rebuilt. Good day, Major Irving. Nice to see you again, Toa. Oh, I can't believe it's really been half a year since I saw you with a time with the NGOs. You can catch up later, Beta. <laughs> it's nearly our departure time. Where are the principal and the professor? It appears that she has yet to even load her soldat. Her soldat? I wonder if it's the golden one I saw during the Northern War. There's no need. I won't be going with you, I bet. A pleasure to see you. Hmm. You're that R.M.P. woman. Long time to see, Icy Man. I thank you for the delivery of the armor train and for seeing us to our exercise grounds. No thanks was necessary. I can't do girl voice. More importantly, Principal, will you not be taking your soul out? As I said, there's no need. Neither I nor the professor will be coming. Yeah. Uh, seriously? But I thought you were coming when I made all the arrangements. Hold on. This, this changes everything. We had factored in your strength when planning for this operation. That's precisely why. Our little fletchings are never going... If our little fletchlings are ever going to learn to fly, they'll need to be pushed out of the nest. With me there, none of them will experience true growth. I've already reported this to the Intelligence Division. What good would it be do me to trip highs about the womb? in the wilderness with all of you. The operations and record keeping will be performed by my disciple candidates. Good luck dealing with your sudden lack of power. Ah, oh, that face. You have to handle the rest. Leave the rest of the others and get going. Understood. This is such a hassle. Oh, I like the facial expressions. We're almost in February at the time of this recording, just like four or five days it's away, I believe. It's been three weeks since we've begun here, and I'm sure I'm there sure are still some, some of you with worries. worries. So I'm just saying, I look forward to uh, trails through daybreak. It's coming soon. But after but the after Panzer sold out training thing. yesterday, a new, a new door, door has door opened open. for you. From ancient, ancient times, time, travel, travel has been used as a way to foster growth. growth. I hope, I hope this, this will be, will be such a trip, trip for each of you. That is all. Yes, ma'am! Herschel, Herschel Orlando, Orlando, I leave, I leave our, fledglings our fledglings in your care. care. Understood. Understood. Please, Please, leave it to us. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of stuff going on. But I'll do what I can. As for you, Schwarzer, the lull that's gone on since the end of the Northern War is now over. As someone with great power, you must stay alert and always be aware of the flow of events in the world. Face that that you lack. Head on. Rely on those around you when you need to. Principal? Understood. You got it. In regard to Panzer Soldat maintenance, I've already told you the basics. If you need to perform a minor fix, you can do it yourself. Show me what a representative of Zeiss Central Factory can do. Yes, leave it to me. All right, we take off to the great unknown where the train goes. Hmm. I suppose all it takes are the right words to make someone leap headlong into danger. A eh, general, twenty-four students and instructors. How many will make it back? I wonder. 
<laughs> a turbulent era lies ahead, where it won't matter who you are or where you're from. If they're not strong enough to make it through this, they don't have much of a future waiting for them anyway. Word. That's another game I want to get back into in Stung and Rampa. I did start a recording for it. I don't know if I'll actually play it, but I'm thinking about it. It's a nice little kitchen. The field exercises is scheduled to last for three days this time. <coughs> After arriving at St. Ark tomorrow, we will move to the field exercise grounds nearby. Once we finish setting up all facilities, these classes will begin their own exercises. I see, so the train itself is going to be our base. So that's why we're assigned our own private train. Well, makes sense. Seems like we got pretty much anything we need. For more information on each class exercise, please see the provided documents. Sorry, but it looks it seems like class seven isn't mentioned here. Oh, you're right. We prepared our special series of exercises for class seven. Because of this, we plan to have a separate meeting once we arrive at the training field and exercise grounds. Structure Swarger and the three members of class seven will be present at this meeting. The students too? Oh, Kelly me intrigued. Well, don't get your hopes up. The meeting is to go over task. <sighs> We're supposed to get more details tomorrow morning. These are the reports of possible threats in Sutherland. It was a miscalculation on the principal's part to not join us. However, we must simply comply, simply mat handle matters at their own. <laughs> Anyways, I'll gather up the members of Class Seven tomorrow. Very well, that concludes today's briefing. Instructor Herschel and Orlando, brief your, brief your students in their task tonight. <laughs> Arrive at St. Ark tomorrow morning. I'm sure the students of Alamo are all ready, but... <laughs> I believe I'm able to watch the operating train and close all this. I'm so glad to be alive. Thanks for giving birth to me. She's well versed in these things. That is pretty cool. That's a high tech train. I uh, yeah, well, a little. I have a feeling class nine was going to be in charge of setting up camp for field exercises tomorrow, so I thought it'd be a good idea to start preparing now. 
Uh, well, sorry for saddling you with even more work than usual. Oh no, it's fine. I'm used to being busy. Hmm. Yep. Well, that's something I'm used to. But now that you mention it, I'd, rather, I'd still rather know what we're supposed to be doing. Well, the way Major Irvin was talking, it seems like a pretty dangerous situation. Unlike some of the other, re other regions, there have been many, very little info about the Jaeger Corps movements here. Oh, really? The Baltimore Borough is right at the south, after all. Since Jaeger Corps are completely prohibited over there, it's not easy for them to get an Erebonia from that direction. I see, so it'd be difficult for them to operate in large squads. But if they're in small, elite units, that can be trouble. Yeah, we shouldn't take things lightly. Lightly. Yeah. Okay, good night's sleep. Ah, I can't do. Can do. Hey, Major Irvay. Yes, I think it's good to hear. What about your? How much communication using the Arcus too? Probably uh, leave the poor man alone. Hey, Major. Oh, Reed, are you patrolling the train? Yeah, something like that. Thought I'd talk to the students now since I have the chance. Ah, is that so? You've grown into a fine man. I'm sure Sarah will be proud. Not a chance. I've got nothing on instructor Sarah. Sometimes even my students will scold me. I'll leave it so I'm relieved. I was concerned at how you were faring last year after the Northern War. I've been doing all right, all things considered. No, oh, not at all. It was you, all Tina, and Sarah who did the savvy looking, so to speak. One in the end, but it ended up being a painful experience for both you and Sarah. As you know, it was R.P. who built the supply line for General Le Guin's army of Panzer Soldats. Yep. There's something I've been wondering for a while now. Why does someone like you continue to work under him? How did you come to be an iron blood? Fair question? Well, I know a little bit about million circumstances. I'm sure Major Lecter and the Governor General both have their reasons, too. But you, Claire, you seem like you're the odd one out to me. When you're doing R&P work, you're sincere and caring. I understand why Eunice opened up to you like she has. When I think of all that, it seems even stranger. Why, Claire? I'm not as great a person as you think I am. In this huge world, I'm just one small person. I have nothing. If Mrs. Huxley hadn't taken me in, I would have disappeared entirely. What? <clears throat> Chancellor Gilead Osborne is my savior. He took me in ten years ago after I left everything in an accident. It was thanks to him that I had found Thor's military academy and the railway military police, places where I belonged. My gratitude to him is not something I could ever hope to obey. Even if I worked for my whole life. I'm sorry. I didn't know any of that. Don't worry about it. I don't think it. any of this will excuse my actions. Rather, I must... I believe I must face the things I've done for the future. I took part in claiming Crosswell and North Ambria for his, for his excellency. Yep. You must. But you don't need to feel that way too, Reed. And I'm sure you've been thinking about how you should act as a member of Class 7 this whole time. Uh. Well, it's not as quite as impressive as you make it sound. But it's kind of embarrassing that you can see right through me like that. I guess I should have known I couldn't keep anything from the ice and made it. Well, that title is starting to feel a little too over the top for me. I am the, in the second half of my 20s now, after all. No, you haven't changed a bit. Instructor Sarah might have changed a bit since she went back to being a bracer. You're still the same as when I first met you two years ago, or rather... Revelt, are you here? 
There's something I need to confirm with you. Major Irving. Have I interrupted something? Uh, oh, no, we were just having small talk. Well, then, Major Clay, I'll excuse myself now. Please and urge you get plenty of rest tonight, Reed. Reed. I don't think you need to force yourself to figure out your relationship with him right now. I'm sure you'll eventually be able to come to terms with it all. So for now, I think you should take your time and slowly organize your thoughts one by one. Ah. Thanks, that makes me feel a little bit better. I don't know what that was about, but you're certainly acting compassionate today. Are you trying to replace a meal with him? Forget it. I was not a line bringing him up. No, that was not my intention. <laughs> it's about the information we're sending east. Alright, bet. Shower. Yes. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this way. Dad, go on the cutscene took up a bit, but it's fine. It's part of the game! It's part of the game! Alright, I'm gonna talk to the rest of you. Show to me, please, not today if you need something to drink. Sure, thanks. And for all your hard work, too. Seems a little small, but how's the kitchen? <coughs> I'm happy to use place this place to good use. Yep. No pressure, right? But aren't you from a past? <laughs> Those object grids are tough deal. Make it perfect for the air. I'm the one who should be worried. I was made head of the medical team. But in, but in the medical training, your first aid skills were faster and more precise than anyone else's. Personally, I th don't think I belong on the comms team. I, I can barely talk without stuttering. <laughs> but didn't you help your father with managing his territory? And that aside, you're really good with numbers. So that means we're all in the right positions after all. I guess the fac faculty here knows what we're... Yep. Showing up, bro. Of course you can, man. What's up, Ash? Well, well, if it ain't instructor Schwarzer. I think you're pretty close with the Chancellor's best piece of arm candy. Hey. That's entirely disrespectful to Major Claire. Extremely. Whatever, man. She's the icy maiden. She's not about to get her here for all hurt like something. Nah. Ugh, I swear. By the way, Spores, we got any plans to ride that night doll of yours around? It'd be great to see you in action sometime. I don't call Valamore unless I absolutely need to. It's not some sideshow. I wouldn't call him just to satisfy curiosity. You be acting like this all fun and games. Going to end up getting hurt during field exercises. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I should make him something a bit up here. Oh, is the briefing over? What's the plan for tomorrow? The other classes got instructions, but not us. About that, I actually wasn't told either. I'll be able to give you the details tomorrow morning. Hmm? Come on, you're our teacher. You need to get it together. <sighs> Thank like, all my glob. All of class seven, including myself, will get a briefing tomorrow morning. Ugh, fine. Director Claire was way more on top of things at the police academy. You know, now that I got a I've got no chance if you compare me to Major Claire. A little surprised though. I respect her so much, even though she's Arabonian. Like I told Kurt, it's not that I hate Arabonians or anything. She's the perfect commander, an incredibly skilled marksman. She's caring and sincere. She's the one who saved me and gave me a chance. I'm just saying it's impossible not to respect her. Unlike someone else I can name. Well, I can't... Ag I agree you can't avoid respecting her. She helped me out more times than I can count since I met her back when I was a student. Well, that explains why you two seem oddly close. I might have to thoroughly interrogate you. You really don't. It's not like that. I don't know where we'll, what we'll be doing tomorrow, but I'll make sure you, make sure you get good rest. Tonight. Seriously, girl, stop giving him the third degree. Yo. Yep. 
By the way, do you know what Vantage Master is? Yes, I do! Can we play? I just figured this is perfect. I actually have a match to before I go to bed. Well, well I'll keep you awake. Well, yes, maybe, but I'll best thing to get my mind off tomorrow. <clears throat> Alright, let's go. Yes. You're on, instructor. I didn't expect this turn of events. So Oh no 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 You wanna play this game? Oh, I don't want to deal with her. I'm just going to ignore it. Just because I can. I mean, for real. Get out of here, girl. Uh, one more. Come on. Nope. You don't get one more. Let me see what she wants. Uh. 
All right, what's what you kids up to? So if we're going to be out in the countryside doing training, eh? It'll be nice to go out and not have to worry about civilians nearby. But like Instructor Randolph said, we need to stay on guard. Yep. Uh huh. So the field exercises are as close to real as possible. I do like that whenever you stand by them, they do kind of like look up. Yep. Well, the train runs pretty smooth at least. Alright, Sydney, what are you up to? This is a pretty sweet setup. Just look at that shower. Who knows? Maybe I'll get things steamy in here. For the love of idiots, please don't cause any trouble. <laughs> the RP Major, with that pretty face always on that luscious figure, she's playing dirty. Try not to be too ba biased against Major Claire, okay? I want everything she had would, so I'm sure to read. Do you like older women? Age doesn't really matter. Wait, what are you trying to make me say? <laughs> no, sure to read. Uh, it's only us in here right now, just you and me. Would you please stop cheesing me? I'm your instructor. Yeah. That's an, that isn't what I meant, you know it. Yeah, it sort of does matter, but... <clears throat> so we'll be in Sutherland by tomorrow morning, huh? You seem happy, Kurt. Have you been to Sutherland before? Oh, instructor. Yes, I have. Though it was a while ago. <clears throat> oh, that's the little town on the southern edge of the province, right? If I remember right, it's famous for its cloth and dyes. That's right. When I lived there, they had a number of old-fashioned workshops all over town. A vendor school training hall, too. Really? I didn't know your family had a training hall out there. Well, maybe we could stop by when we're in the area. Something wrong? No, it's nothing. More importantly, what should we be doing? What will we be doing during the field exercises? I'll fill you in on the details tomorrow morning. I can say we'll definitely have some downtime. I can say that we'll definitely have some downtime we can use to go visit Ponum. Think you can give us a tour of the place? Sure. I suppose I can. I'm just hoping I'm actually able to get something out of this trip. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm sure you will. I should know, as a member of Class 7. Oh, I want to play Vantage Masters! It's actually really fun when you know what you're doing. Hey, Freddy. I bet there be always truck full of monsters with some nice meat on their bones! He's planning on going hunting? Altina came in looking really down. Yes! yes. Thanks! I'll help! Can I do anything? I don't have the benefit of, like, DLC stuff. Thanks. Yeah, I don't have any of the, like, the paid for stuff. Yes! Yeah. Thanks. Looks like I'm gonna have to probably grind. Altina, what are you doing in here? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking about the pens are turning didn't go well. Are you talking about your piloting? Don't I have something to do with how you control clumps of lace? Some people are good with pens or sold arts, and some aren't. Don't let it bother you too much. But you and Kirk got it right away. I feel powerless in a way. Hey, Altina. Yes. Uh, never mind. Once we get back to campus, you can train to your heart's content. I'll do my best to help you too. I see. Thank you. What are our plans for tomorrow? Well, all of Class 7 will be summoned early in the morning. 
I'll, we'll tell you the details then. Just get a good night's rest. And, of course, you can always talk to your classmates. Understood. I shall return to my room for now. Good day. She seems frustrated. Just like when Milliam came to school, she's starting to change. Good. The plan is finally becoming into motion. The first mission at the camp is to move the salt on top of the train. That should be easy. Why am I so nervous? It seems like Wayne needs time to overthink things. It's an honor to be able to get my hands on a pins or sold out so early in the exercises. We'll be using Draken and Hector in a field site. And then, then, then. Are you done with your studies today, Reed? Yeah, all done for now. Sorry to keep you cramped up here all the time. As I said, do not worry about it. I've grown a, gotten accustomed to it during my travels with you. Eh, hearing, hearing that makes me feel a little better. We'll arrive tomorrow morning, so it won't be too much longer. Understood. What's wrong? I felt a presence, a movement in the monocorins, in the direction we're headed, far to the south. A presence, can you pinpoint it? No, it vanished. Was it simply a fluctuation in the subdued mains? Perhaps I was mistaken. I shall keep an eye out for any further movement. Yeah. Either way, let's keep our guard moving. Let's keep on our let's be on our guard moving forward. With any luck, I won't have any need to call on you. Agreed, but if you must, please feel please do so without hesitation. I shall protect you and your colleagues, just as I always have done. Thank you. I'm counting on you. Fist bump. Be preferable, nothing were to happen. But a rookie teacher in charge of martial arts, Panzer Soldat training in history. I play for a girl who doesn't hide her interest in Reed. Despite be despite her tendency to say some risque things, she holds herself as a true noble. An easygoing and friendly teacher who transferred to the school from the Army's crossbow unit. Only part of the CPD. See, I want to know the conversion rate of how much a reach, arge, and all that stuff is. Because they've got to have it. You know what? You know what? We'll, we'll do a little bit of reading. I'll read this, and then we'll call it an episode. I don't normally do this, but I don't have enough time to get started into the next part. So we're going to read Heartless Edgar. Chapter 1. Autumn Dawn. I might not read the whole thing. 
because that'll get boring. Rays of light spilled through the curtains, brightening the walls of the bedroom before finally coming to rest on, on my face. I slowly opened my bleary eyes and made my way to the window. I gently touched my fingertips against the dew-covered glass, feeling the sun's warmth. I turned around to see you still lying in bed, asleep. Your tranquil expression was illuminated by the same dawn light that had stirred me from my slumber. I moved in close, pressing my nose against yours, but you didn't stir. I gently stroked your hair, but you still refused to wake. In a final attempt to rouse you, I pinched your cheek, but all I did was make you Oh, all you did was make a face and roll over. Gently chuckling to myself, I straightened the bed sheets and left the room. I went to the kitchen and began warming up the soup left over from last night. Next, I started to make the salads we were going to have for lunch later. Lettuce, ham, and hard-boiled eggs. I cut up a tomato and, taking care to only add the slices to one of the salads. After all, you didn't like tomatoes. I remember you telling me the story. I think it was about four years old, my father tried to feed me a tomato, and I spat it right back out at him. I have no idea why, but I just can't eat them. He laughed and looked away. A twinge of guilt played a play, playing across your face, or your eyes. Just as, after, just as I was finishing up with the food, I saw the bedroom door swing open. Good morning, you said, stretching. It was clear you enjoyed your dose. Hey, Edgar, you looked at me. Edgar. You calling my name? Edgar. You called my name over and over. You calling my name over and over. Hey, Edgar! Edgar! You. Huh? My eyelids snapped open. My ears were suddenly filled with sound. I was in a restaurant in town. Sitting across from me was my friend, Henry. His long, green hair was unkempt, as though he just rolled out of bed. A small trail of steam rose from the hot plate of food he had in front of him. I instantly understood what was going on. Um, can I get some water? The waitress, Clementine, was standing over us. I looked up into her eyes. There was, they were as clear and blue as the summer sky. Oh yeah, I... Henry started to say, No, we're okay. Don't worry about us. I interrupted. Clement, Clementine looked confused, but stepped away to see the, to the other customers. What do you mean, don't worry about us? What if I'm thirsty? Henry furrowed his brow at me. I don't want to bother her, I said, glancing at Clementine's direction for the briefest moment. Bother her? It's just a glass of water, man. Henry sighed and began sullenly chomping on his food. Here, have mine too. I pushed my plate, he bearing my untouched sandwich toward him. My head's all muddled. I don't think I have much of an appetite anymore. <coughs> That's been happening a lot lately. You okay, man? Henry's dour expression turned to one of concern. I'm not sure. I keep getting flashes of this scene. It feels like a memory, but I don't recognize it at all. I raised my gaze and stole another glance at Clementine as she walked through the restaurant, smiling and talking with the customers. Henry followed my gaze toward her, and a look of understanding came over his face. Now that I think about it, this all started after you first noticed her, huh? I should have known. I've seen the sad eyes of a lovesick fool before. He nodded to himself knowingly. Is that what this is? I questioned Henry, yet I couldn't take my eyes off of Clementine. Well, I guess you know me best, Henry. As I spoke, Clementine noticed my gaze and gave me a warm smile before returning to work. Her work. Since I don't seem to know myself anymore. I sighed. <sighs> All my dearest friend could give me in response was a troubled chuckle. September S. 1294, Mon, home to the headquarters of the Epstein Foundation. I plan to devote my time here to perform my research alongside other members of the foundations. But then I fell in love. Hold on, what? What year was that? Wait, yeah. 
It's 1206. The year. But that says 1294. Does that take place in the future? That's kind of cool. <coughs> I will say... I will say... I just want to say... I like how much detail they go into the world building. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Whoops. This is a message from Fearflinger Car 1 for all Branch Campus students. We will arrive at the destination for our field exercises at 5.10 a.m. tomorrow morning. Please be sure to get lots of rest so you're ready to wake up bright and early. I think I've done enough for today. I should probably get to bed soon. Anyways, like... They literally have newspapers that you can read, as well as books and all this kind of other stuff, dude. Like, I appreciate the level of that goes into all this. Wait, can you only play Vandit's Masters once? Okay, you can play multiple times. Again, it never ceases to amaze me. Like, I haven't gone through and read every single piece of literature. I probably should. That is something I haven't done on any playthrough, is read them all. So maybe I should go and read that on my own time. Uh, but for real, dude, it's like so good. Alright, well, that's going to be this episode. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next episode of Trails. And if you guys like me reading the, the stuff, maybe I'll read them all. Maybe I'll read them to you. What do you say? I'd say that's a pretty good time for me I like that his casuals are red. These are casuals. I like the ponytail. I don't know if I have it. I don't think I do. <coughs> Look at this. Look at it. Look at it. Oh man, we look like we're playing freaking, uh, what's it called? What's it called? Uh, Code Vine. There you go. I think I'll play with Yuna in her, in her crossbow outfit. Nah. Swimsuit. I'm just kidding.
Because why not? Sure. I do like her casual outfit though. <coughs> Excuse me. I think the bunny ears are cute too. Alright, anyways, no fooling. Oh, oh, oh. Anyway, see you guys next time on Trails of Cold Steel. You know, I'll save it just in case. I know I didn't do anything, but I'm gonna save it anyways. So. Hashtag deal with it. Alright, bye!